hello guys, this is 19 to the dozen and together with me uh, we have Jonathan and Felix who are journeymen craftsmen and we've just met yesterday um, in the same place we are in Quip. Thank you very much Mr. Uh, Alexandru for hosting us again. This is definitely the place to podcast in Timisoara. So guys, I mean, I, I was playing music last night and I saw you, I mean, I, I noticed you from the moment you entered the uh, the yard and came up the stairs, right? Because of your clothes. So can we start with that? <laughs> yes, sure. Or, or should we just first explain the whole concept of maybe, German craft? Maybe we should start with the, with the whole concept, just in general, and then we, we talk about each other. Okay, let's start with Palinka though, because we're in Romania. <laughs> <laughs> Ciao, Prost. Prost. Rock. 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 Yes. Ciao, Ciao. Rock. So here, what you are, what you are seeing is already the first part of, 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 of one little thing about journeyman tradition. Okay. That we as German journeymen, we don't um, clap our glasses. Oh, we don't do it. Because you, you know the reason why people are clashing their glasses? Not really. It was in, in former days, they say, they clash the glasses. So if another person was getting poisoned, if there would be poison in my water, it was a poison ah. and they clash and then the poison comes into your water wow. as well and so we are both are going to die and so we say but we are we are two comrades and we um we trust each other so we don't have a reason to yes to, to i click that glass. yes cool. and um yes so our tradition we are is in, in english you can say journeyman traveling journeyman craftsman um everybody of who's taking in this part of this tradition he is a learned craftsman. So everybody, when you have, when you want to start, you have to finish an apprentice in a traditional craft. It's, let it be uh, carpentry, stone masonry. I'm a baker. We all upholsterer, smith, goldsmith, everything, or almost. There are some discussions about it, but yeah, let's say every. Mm. When you want to start, you have to. You have to be younger than 30 years okay you have to be you don't have to have any obligations so no wife no children no debts nothing you have to be um the possibility to be completely free okay um so this this tradition of freedom it uh, developed in the, the medieval times i would say it's yeah you said the traveling craftsmen are already older and i think in every in every society they are craftsmen but traveling <laughs> But the yes, according to this, uh, yes, in this forum, it started about 800 years ago, and the reason was in former days that in cities, when people learned a craft, the, the apprentices, after they finished to learn, they had to leave the city, because the um, the master craftsmen in the cities they wanted to keep under They're control the okay. who was making the business, and if you have uh, in a city with uh, 20,000 uh, inhabitants and you have 200 bakers, it's, it's too much. So you have to take yes control of it. So they said to the young learned uh, journeyman, okay, you have to leave the city, and then they had to leave and didn't know where to go. So from uh, from this problem, they started to yes to make a yeah aus der Not eine sie haben aus der Not eine Tugend gemacht um, <laughs> the, from this uh, the main uh, the best out of it yes yeah. in a way they made the best out of it, and so they developed some rules about it and. This form, which is taken it now today, is that we still say we are free people in former days. Not everybody was a free man. No, 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 no. True, uh, true. There were just uh, yes. a few persons who were, who were free. And for example, the, the usual traveler, not traveling, the usual craftsman working at a, at a master's workshop was not free to decide if he could marry a person or not. The master should um, had to allow someone else to marry or not. But the journeyman, the traveling, they were free people. And this is the reason why we wear this black hat. This is one of our most important symbols. It's, you say it's the, the black hat. It was a people. privilege for uh, some some people yes. in former days, and that's uh, the, yeah, the, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. um, the symbol that reminds us yes. to that uh, yeah, privilege of freedom. And so the what is, what is lasting from this uh, leaving the city and traveling for some time that today it's not obligatory it's voluntary but if you decide you stick with the rules 
and it means you travel for at least three years and one day and you don't come closer to your hometown than 50 kilometers. Okay. Never. No, it's three years. Right. Not on Christmas, not on the wedding. The only reason would be if someone dies from your yeah. close family or close friend. Right. This is the only reason. You could enter and then you don't enter alone, but you take like a yeah. comrade or, or brother or sister. So yes. Good. That's a yeah, street map from, from Germany and that is the circle. Um, I'm not allowed to enter. Okay. And yeah, it's just for me that I know, okay, that. Um, so, not even, okay. let's say you're traveling from Munich to Wartburg, yeah, you cannot to, pass, you have to. Yeah, I have to yeah. go around, but so it may really take some out. extra time. But uh, <laughs> yeah, it's. Um, it sounds like a big deal, but it, in fact, it's the the only part of the world where I'm not allowed to be, yes. and that's um, the smallest part of the world. Yeah. Yes. If yeah. you zoom out, um, for for it example, to Europe, it's, it's that small. So mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So you basically, guys, have started uh, your journeys not together, but almost at the same time. You're yes. one and a half years on the road now. Yes. You've not seen your family. Since then, right? Mm, I've seen my family, but in the just outside of the circle. Oh, okay. Yes. Oh, yes. okay. That's yes. a difference. It's yes. a, smart. We're not allowed to to be in our hometowns or in that mm -hmm. circle, but mm -hmm. we are, of course, we're allowed to see uh, other people okay. or family or parents or whatever. Um, for example, if they are on holidays somewhere else, mm -hmm. we can visit them. Or, mm -hmm. yeah. um, so there, there's possibilities how we, we can meet. But um, of course, it's not that easy and common and uh, thing of everything. How, how old are you? I'm really curious. Maybe how old guess. are you guys? I, I would say 25, 26, both of you. Yeah, I'm, like that. I'm 29 no? already. Right. I'm, I'm 26. Right. Yeah. And with us too, it's also special. We, we started at the, almost the same time. And we are, yes, we both have the great eye. So we are part of the same uh, brother, sister, part of the same association. Okay, yes. the, there's several journeyman craftsmen associations. Yes, yeah. okay. it's okay. not. Um, yeah, it, it's not. Um, it's not um, obligatory to yeah. be an mm -hmm. association, mm -hmm. but it's a possibility. It's, and it gives like a frame for the journey. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's a network. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, okay, so you're a baker, and I'm a carpenter. You're a carpenter. Mm -hmm. um, where have you been? Until you've arrived, when did you arrive in Timisoara? So the first time we arrived together, it was in the I think in the end of May. Yeah. Okay. Yes, we were there to um, to the sculpting project house and yes, in public mm -hmm. to see if we can make our meeting there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then we came, we went back to Germany to to do things, and then we came back. Three weeks ago. Yeah. Yeah. In the beginning of August, well, we are here since mm -hmm. 1st or 2nd of August. Yes. So tell us about the project. You told me last night you guys will build a house in Timisoara in Fabric, uh, which is the old, uh, it's an old neighborhood. How would you say, how would you explain Fabric to a non Timisoara person? I, I guess in the 18th century was where the industry was yes. placed in the like, city, right? And by the way, Timisoara has the oldest. Uh, Beer factory in the country, I think, right? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. it's Timi Shoreana. Yeah, and it's going for more than 300 years now, no? Yes, right? Yes. 300 something. Yeah. So that that part of the uh, I I feel that the city hall does not really care about that part of the city because yes. all the renovation. No, I mean look at the buildings. Yes. You mentioned Piazza Traian. I I've not been there for maybe a year, a half, two years, but I don't think the buildings are as renovated as in the center. No, no, no. So sure. that's why I, it, it really caught my attention that you guys are building a house in fabric. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, we are not building the house. Actually, the, the, the it building is already is, building. Yeah, the building is already okay. growing. It is um, the coping association which is building the house. But we always have, a, nowadays, we have a very good relation with the coping association. We get a lot of uh, support by them. It's a yes, it's an international organization it's from Germany, but international. And so we want to give something back. So we are coming to support them. We are coming to, like I told you yesterday, to donate our work power to um, yes to help them finish finish mm -hmm. the house bef 
before they want to before they want to open. And yeah, and if anybody can help them, they want to have a party at the end of September, and they want to have a band playing there. So maybe we can help them, right? 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 We should help them. That was the reason we we started to talk yeah. together. Yeah. This guy, have you? No. Yeah, yeah. I, I have something in mind. Mm. I've actually um, told you wrote on your. And this, this, this yes, sure. this uh, this uh, also brings me to a question eventually when I will. Um, but yeah, you you don't use techno. I mean, you don't have an iPhone. Uh, an iPhone. You don't have a, any phone on you. Yes. Um, yes. As far as I understand, from I've seen a little Deutsche Welle documentary. Um, you don't have. You don't. One of the rules is not to not own anything, right? Mm, not own anything. I, no. You mean like. We, we aren't traveling with the um, mobile devices and yes. um, we aren't yeah, reachable in a digital mm -hmm. way. Um, mm -hmm. And that's the thing. It's yeah, another mm, way but of... But you uh, just carry your clothes, not even yes. your tools, right? You, you don't... It depends. Some, it depends. Some, yeah, it, it depends on the association and on other... Mm -hmm. on other trade. Um, yes. The yeah. trade. So usually you have some small tools. Some have also some, a little bit more weight. Mm. Yeah, but not not much more. So yes, your clothes, some some small tools that you need mm -hmm. every day. I don't know, a book, a notebook, some some small things for for daily life. Of course, it's open. <laughs> the, the thing is, you have to carry everything um, you you yeah. have. So it's mm -hmm. the weight on your shoulder. Mm -hmm. um, that's the yeah limitation mm -hmm. in fact. So, so unfortunately, like we are in. Now we have a fixed station, so we um, we didn't bring our, our luggage, luggage because it's all <laughs> okay. we opened it uh, and yeah, but it's uh, a yeah. we traditionally, unfortunately, we don't have a yeah, you doing that? Um, we have a piece of cloth. It's called shallow where we put our luggage in. So it's. So 80, text to 80 centimeter, one meter, and it's a square. Yeah, it's stressful. And you put everything and then you tie it up, yeah. and yeah. that's okay. It's, we have several several of this, but we just put it in this, in this chalice. And it's called Charlie, Charlottenburger. It's, uh, it's in uh, part of Berlin, Charlottenburg. And there was some time when the, um, the journeyman wanted to enter Charlottenburg. They were very strict um, because of some, some kind of bugs. And so they said, okay, you have to put all your clothes into some material which we can disinfect. So in this time, it was just putting it in boiling water by this disinfection. And now this uh, this piece of textile is called Charlottenburger mm -hmm. because the city said, okay, you cannot you cannot use like a like a tornister made out of a leather or something or with a thin, with hair mm -hmm. with the old the old army. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. army backpacks that was mm -hmm. hair as well and all the bugs were living in there and so they no no <laughs> it's gonna enter. It's and today it's a it's a, yeah it's a very interesting part of our tradition because there are a lot of different designs of this cloth. Cloth. Mm -hmm. So I guess you cannot buy these clothes anywhere, right? Is it yeah, you make it um, themselves or how is what's the how is it's it with them? Because it stands out. I mean, when yeah, you, sure. you um, especially when you're like, I think last night you were like four or five people. We were just three. Yeah. Three. Yeah. Oh, but it's nice when we make the impression to be four. There you go. See, that's yeah. my point. You were just three, and it, it felt like five. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we also like. <laughs> now the thing is, um, yeah, there's uh, the the normal working uh, clothes. It's possible to buy in some here uh, store. Mm -hmm. uh, but that's yeah, mm, with less bags and uh, doesn't fit that good. Uh, and these, uh, yeah, like yeah, special cloth uh, is made by tailors. And um, yeah, there's some specialized so tailors. Still so from the journeyman, journeyman tailors, right? Mm, not, not really. Some, not some of them, some, yeah, but some. Did, uh, the German years, but uh, others not. But uh, just tailors specialized yeah. on the stuff. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's very special. It's, all, it's very thick and um, thick material, and it's, uh, it is very um, it's worn very strong because we wear it every day. We <laughs> have something to, to change. So it has yes. uh, to be 
yeah, fitting. And uh, mm -hmm. on the other hand, uh, we are supporting, uh, yeah, traditional craft because it's handmade. Uh, cool. And yeah, that's that's a thing because we all learn the craft, and uh, we are lucky if somebody uh, wants our products and uh, supports, yeah, crafts in, in general. And uh, so we do uh, when we when we can do it. Yes, and it's uh, also in the end. We just have this uh, this clothes. Usually, you have um, one for for traveling, for mm -hmm. like the, the the good, the beautiful ones for, for traveling, for for going out, and then you have have a set of clothes for for working for work. Yes, so be dirty and um, maybe it will be dirty. It's yeah, mm -hmm. but it should be dirty. Um, and also, then when you think about it, so one one set of this lasts one, yes, one to two years, depending on mm -hmm. the weather. For some, for some, maybe three or four, but it's, yeah. And then you you spend the money, and it's in the end, it's not that that expensive um, than than you could kill this because you could kill this. You have this pair of jeans and this and another and this shirt and another shirt and another pullover and another jacket, and so you have several things, and you regularly buy new things, and you just have this one set. And then we um, we also want them to fit well, so yeah, they are made well fitting to your body. And when you calculate it through the time, it's not so much more expensive. And, uh, uh, for example, we say uh, in a funny way that's our living room because all of the pockets, <laughs> and, uh, yes, yes. things you, you uh, could need um, fast during your travel, like uh, some kind of torchlight or whatever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's, yeah, um, over the time you you find uh, places for everything in, mm -hmm. in this, these pockets and you know, okay, here's that one and here's that one and the pencil and whatever. And yeah, so that's, uh, yeah. yeah. Sometimes it's heavy weight, but uh, of course it's yeah, convenient. Yes. So um, <clears throat> going back to the beginning, what you told me is like, you can start your journey after you finish your apprentice. Yes. When, when I first talked to you, I thought that this was your apprenticeship. No, not really. It's part of learning. Okay. So it is um, in the like in the medieval time. Mm -hmm. It was a part of becoming a master craftsman. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. But we are all, all of us are skilled. We finished our apprenticeship, and now this is like the the next stage. Next now stage. we are we can do the basics. We can work on our own. But we still learn a lot, and it's yeah. like our mm, pathway to uh, to really high skilled professional. Thank you for saying that, because to me, besides being a celebration of freedom, it's also a celebration of the craft yes. you chose, right? Yes. yes. And that's why I think, I mean, maybe I'm wrong, but that's why I think you travel through many cultures and many, you know, meet a lot of people, mm. is you kind of steal a little bit of each local place and make and some notes. That's yeah. how it was in former days too. So there were no internet, there were no um, like YouTube tutorials as everybody knows today. Um, so uh, yeah, for learning new techniques and um, to see how things were done in uh, other parts of the world, the people needed to Travel, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And the people from from Banat, they were the Schwabs, mm -hmm. and then they traveled to uh, Transylvania and met the Saxons, and it was totally different. And for us now, it's really strange that the that, that the culture could be like different with a two or three hundred kilometers. Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah, yes. and a few hundred years ago, uh, the world wasn't that globalized as mm -hmm. we know it. Um, there's no, uh, yeah, direct way of, uh, yeah. With the car and uh, so yeah, transport was done in a very different way. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it's we've mentioned they've mentioned auto stop. This is how they travel now. Yeah, because uh, auto stop, yeah, yeah. same word. Uh, <laughs> one of the the traditions uh, rules is um, yeah that we are don't spend money on transport or accommodation. So yeah, uh, the the big distances. Yeah, walking could be, but it needs quite a time. And mm -hmm. uh, so, um, 
for coming here, for example, uh, it's necessary to yeah hitchhike and mm -hmm. other stuff. Yes, um, I I will uh, I will leave my contact with you, um, uh, at least with you because I know the baker in Prague. Yes. So if you want to come to Prague, um, I will be in Smishara maybe in October again. Mm -hmm. I can drive you there. You can auto stop with me to Prague. Ah, yeah, it uh, okay. Yes. It would be a good time. Yes. yes. And, uh, I want to go. <laughs> <laughs> but you mentioned Japan, so I'm asking then because you, you said you wanted to. You, I, I guess, yes. Yes. Yeah, sure, I, I, sure. I said where you want to go next, and you told me Russia, blah blah. And yeah, Japan. Japan. It's true. But yeah. um, it's true. but uh, are you? Are you allowed to fly? Yes. Okay. Yes, in general, we are allowed to fly, but like since we um, since we don't don't pay for it, we the most of us they work for for a, a plane ticket. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's that's a, that's a usual way. Well, in former days, um, people like to uh, to work on a ship and then cross the Atlantic. <laughs> but today, it's it's quite hard to to find something like this. Because yeah, the, the rules of security are quite strict and you have just very few high skilled uh, sales, salesmen or, or mm -hmm. sailors, yeah. sailors yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. on the ships, so it's, it's harder to yes, cross the, the Atlantic. <laughs> but I, uh, I know people that uh, have done that, such things, so they found somebody who was sailing there and uh, there was yeah, uh, like free space and they said, okay, yeah. If you help me sailing the ship over there, yeah, just jump on. Cool. And awesome. So it is possible to uh, make it around the world without using a plane. Oh, really? But it's, it's yeah. hard. Yeah. <laughs> and it uh, yeah takes, of course, more time because uh, planes are fast. And other devices. Oh, you can do it in 80 days. Yeah, <laughs> you can do, but uh, then uh, the question: What what uh, yeah. remains from the countries you are in mm -hmm. the parts of the world? I have um, like maybe two or three more questions, which yes. are like my little curiosities. Yes, you, you told me. To explain the cloud. Yeah, yeah, no, no. Ah, okay, go on. Yeah, should we start? With yeah, the cloud. So maybe it's easy to if we. Is it, is it okay to stand up because it's um, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Well, also this this clothing we are wearing today is uh, has some age. I think it's about 150 years that journeymen are wearing this clothes like this. In former days, they said they were just traveling in the in the good uh, in the good Sunday um, suit. So they had a they had a, a good suit, black suit maybe from confirmation or something, and then they started travel and. Um, this about the, the history of some details. It's not um, it's not very very clear. There are several explanations, but one explanation about this clothing is that they um, were have their origin in the clothes of the yes, like the um, the carpenters on the ship, I think. Yeah. Um, because they yes, they were working on the water, and when they needed to to cross a, something in the water, they could easily with this. Uh, Hands like this, they could make them up and down. And also, this is protecting the feet and the shoes from dripping water, from uh, from uh -huh. saw. This is little things from sawing the wooden chunks from the saw. Yeah. Yes, you have this uh, in the in the German the, Ger the, the German pants. They have always had the two zippers. Mm, by this, also in the former days, when the people fell into water, they could just dip the two. Take off their pants and also this uh, this vest. They could take it off. Probably the uh, uh, buttons uh, instead of um, zippers in the former days because they were invented later. But yeah. that's true. Yeah, probably they were invented later. That's true. Um, yes. Yeah, so this is the background of the um, of the uh, form of the clothing. But then we have uh, several very um, important symbols for us. So. We have the um, the buttons. It's the buttons on the west. Buttons on the west are um, eight, and it comes from the old fight from the working people for eight hours a day. So we have eight buttons, eight hours a day. On the jacket, we have six buttons. In this day, it was six days a, a week of work, and Sunday is a free day, or the seventh day is a free day. Some parts Sunday, and other parts Monday. 
And then here we have three years of apprentice and three years of traveling. We say we travel for at least three years and one day because our traveling should be longer than our apprentice time. So we have three years of apprentice and then three years and one day of traveling time minimum. Could be three years, one day, three years, two weeks, or three years and two other years. So the next very important symbol for us too and for people in, in association, for the gentlemen in the association, is a, a tie or some of them also have a golden needle or a special, um, special earring. Mm. It is on one hand, there was a time where they called it, or today it's, we still call it honorability, and there was a time where people in the associations were very proud and the associations took care that they behaved in a good way and also because there were them. Uh, a bunch of people um, traveling in, on, and living in the streets um, and the idea in the former days was to make a difference between everybody and the like honorable craftsmen yes. like have a sign yeah. was like a quality proof uh, yeah yeah that changed because uh, now that's uh, it's not that common. That, uh, yeah. Today, the, the, this this proof of of, um, of good behavior for us is the clothing itself. Yeah. Because in general, yes, so also the people who don't want to pardon an association that is clothes and at this stage, okay, we are taking part this tradition. We are always behaving in good manners, in honorable manners, and yes. But for us, it's the great tie, which is showing that we are. In, our association and our brother and sisterhood. And we are, yes, yeah, we say we always wear it with them um, with some kind of uh, problems because yeah. it's our, yes, it's our family for this time. It's a, it's a network which won't, uh, we, yeah, we don't cut the connection after our journey. It is a live, live, live long connection. Yeah. That's it. Then let's go up. I think the next thing is our earring. So every journeyman has an earring, maybe not from the first day, but at some part you get this earring. It's very simple method. You take a you take a big nail. Maybe I have it here. Let's see. I have it here. Take a nail, put it into a glass of palik or something to that effect. Then you put the the ear on the on the bar or on, on some wooden piece on the table on the, desk, on the desk. The nail goes through, and then you have to promise or you promise that you will travel for at least three years, one day, always behaving in good and all of the manners, and you're not um, yes, you're not breaking breaking the rules. Yeah. And afterwards, you get this uh, you get this earring as well as a sign of good behavior. Yeah. And in the former days, uh, there's the saying that the, the earring was um, yeah, uh, was used for the emergency case if you died during the travels, um, that uh, it is possible to um, pay for the funeral. And uh, on the other hand, uh, if you um, if you missed the rules or you, you behaved in a Non honorable uh, way, uh, the the thing was really, really bad. Yes, yeah. it, it was it's a punishment place. to um, tear, tear, it. tear it. Yeah, and uh, so everybody could see that uh, the the ear was, the ear was uh, yeah. In Germany, we still have a saying about someone with, yeah. a, with a cut in hair is a is a, is a bad person. Yeah, it's a Schlitzohr in German. Yeah, it's the last and also very so i think it's for me this is the three important symbols is um, my tie the, the earring and the last is the black hat as i explained before, yeah. explained before the sign for our freedom and that's in all is uh, yes our um, our clothes and this, in, in germany it's um this clothes is well recognized so the people recognize and see it on the street but for me in, in foreign countries, it's, uh, it's very nice, very interesting to, to go to places because the people recognize me as a foreigner. I'm always recognized as a foreigner, but not as a tourist or something. They know, okay, this 
this guy is definitely not from here. But I don't know where he's coming from. I don't know. It's really something strange. And this is also what we, as I think, what we are intending in this tradition with this clothes to, to show that we are, yes, foreigners in, in a place. Yeah. And yeah, another thing uh, to mention uh, concerning you know, the, the cloth is uh, the the color of the cloth. Um, yeah, true. Yeah, uh, maybe you uh, wondered about different colors of us too, and the colors are depending on the the trade we learned and um, or the the branch we are in. So, for example, the, the black color is then uh, for the um, wood uh, related crafts um, for me as a carpenter but as well for yeah, instrument builders or uh, yeah like um, boat builders whatever uh, going together with wood and um, yeah um, uh, in your case it's uh, I don't know what's the English expression for but uh, that we say yeah, pepita pepita or is, uh, uh, yeah. square yeah, yeah. squares yes. um, yeah, for uh, crafts that are related to food and uh, food producing or food. Uh, uh, yeah. mm. Yes, making. Working, uh, yeah, work. yes. You know, and um, but there's several other colors like blue for metal uh, related um, crafts, um, like a gray whitish uh, thing uh, for for yeah. Mineral um, crafts like so. stone masonry and uh, yeah, like that. And um, what else do we have? Uh, red, red, red for, for, for textile and farming. Uh, yes, um, crafts. And then some yeah. some are traveling in the in the green yeah. you know, green clothes. For well, these are agricultural. Yes, agricultural or with them some natural pro producing process. Like garden. Yes, there's some some discussion, some yeah, some discussion if it's if it's craft or agriculture, yeah. the rest of all that, but yes, it's possible to see some people in view for this, yes. Did we forget something? Sure, definitely. <laughs> yeah. Yes, but that's yeah. So <laughs> thank you very much guys for that because it's uh, it really explained uh, it killed one of my questions. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> And it really explained like more in depth the tradition and everything. And um, I'm so lucky to to actually be talking to you guys. I, I really appreciate it. it <laughs> I have so not three more questions, but two more questions. <laughs> that I think do you want the hard one or the not so hard one? Actually, the hardest one is um, for me, from my perspective, would be what made you do this? Why did you choose this? <laughs> Why? That's a yeah, uh, I'm, I'm it's a hard question. Well. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I think uh, for me to answer, uh, it's not hard, but uh, an answer in general, it's hard because uh, everybody has its own uh, history, how he or she um, came to the decision of. Uh, so the very first thing is to recognize, oh, it's a thing I can do. I have a trade which, uh, yeah, is, um, is, which makes it uh, possible to do the journeyman years. Uh, then you need to have contact with the journeyman to, to get in touch uh, with the, the journeyman scene and uh, how is it working? Because most of the tradition is um, uh, yeah, provided by uh, yeah, it's not written or not documented. Uh, documented in a way, it's just uh, all uh, yeah, spoken. And, um, yes. See, yeah. Uh, so your parents were not journeymen, right? No. Okay. No. And you say brothers and sisters. There's girls doing that. This is yes. of course, yes. Yeah. Maybe we are saying brothers and sisters in our as a state. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yes, but that, 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 yes. that's how I understand that there's also girls doing. Yeah. It. Yes. Was in, in, yes, I think there were always girls traveling, but in former days people didn't, didn't talk about it. And there's the old associations in which there are only men traveling, but in the, in the modern world it's also girls, women traveling. Um, yes, from, yeah. And from yeah, 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 yeah,
it's becoming more and more. Uh, I think it's uh, in our association, it's half of people are yes. women. So it's half half. Really? Yeah. Yeah, so. Wow. And it's it's very nice by this to yes, because women still are underrepresented in the, in the crafts, but there yes, there is no no um, rational reason for it. There's a reason that it's not good. It's, it's, it's our society. That is structured in, in this way. And yeah, but to answer your question from my perspective, so when I when I was learning the craft of bakery, when I first um, decided to, to to become a baker, I also thought about that it will be easy to find a job anywhere in the world. It was um, I wasn't aiming at traveling, but I thought well, I can find something. Anyway, it's quite flexible. Yeah, anywhere, anytime. They will need a baker. Of course, the reason for it is because you work in the night and there's a lot of uncomfortabilities, but you will find something. And then during during the apprentice, I realized that I want to learn I want to learn in other bakeries and other regions about how what their products and what they are doing. And I also want to travel. Always when when I had some time in my life, I, I used the time to travel. And then I realized, okay, this fitting and it is a, there's a lot of uh, magic of this tradition and I also wanted to like push me in this direction to have a fixed set of, of rules that, that keep me going and not after after a half year or one year if there will come some difficulties to break it. In. So I was, we were traveling for about four months and the pandemic started, the lockdown started and so if I wasn't doing this, if I would have been traveling in a normal way, I'm quite sure that I would stop traveling. Yes. So you've been traveling during the... No, we, no. we weren't at home. Uh, yeah, you, yeah, around the time. outside the 50 kilometers. So, yes, yes. We, of course, we weren't uh, on the streets uh, during all the time, so yes. there were, yeah, during the lockdown times, uh, we each found a place to stay for a few weeks, and, but we needed to change the places more often than others uh, who had their own flat. And um, it's kind of the other extreme thing because others were kind of locked in in their flats and wished to yeah, to travel uh, to, to have social mm -hmm. contact, mm -hmm. and we hadn't uh, we still have no flat uh, where we can close the door and uh, be for ourselves so it's yeah uh, the other way around so um, it wasn't that easy either so thank you guys i have the last question yeah. but um before that thank you very much for sitting down with me man i'm sure. i'm so so um inspired i mean i thought I thought it was a freedom thing, but you also like when you were describing describing your clothes, you mentioned like um, honor several times. It's more than that. It's culturally exchange and everything. And I, I'm I'm thankful for what you're doing for Timisoara because I've been living here for all my life. I've j only just now seen somebody doing this in my town, and I really appreciate that. Thank you for the project in Fabric, um, and this has been 19 to the dozen. Not a usual episode, you know. Uh, last question, guys. I'm really curious about this. You can take your time to think about it. Yes. If you would be able to snap your fingers and change something about the world today. What world today? Yeah. <laughs> what would it be? Anything. I mean, it doesn't have to be necessarily. I think it's quite easy. It's a world yeah. peace, no? World peace, huh? Yeah, yeah. sure. <laughs> okay. But the next person. What are the elements? Mm. Yeah. This mm. yeah, for uh, the biggest thing he already said, uh, and the other one maybe connected to world peace uh, is yeah, uh, equal spreading of uh, resources and uh, yeah, like food, drinking water, and yeah, the the main big resources. Uh, for humanity, not for um, maybe even something like more understanding of the humans. Yeah. 
for each other, that they understand each other better than the guards. A lot of people won't starve. Uh, the the food would be uh, yeah, equally spread, spread it, uh, equally. Um, uh, and we're off, huh? That's it. Ah, okay. It's better yeah, than it, but it was okay. I mean, we got it yeah. in perfect timing. <laughs> um, Our, yeah, okay. So we can, I can say this just um, for you as well. It's probably it will not be recorded, but it's about you mentioned also the the. Ah, uh, uh, <laughs> I want to say one last thing about the. Uh, do we have? Do we the, can, the, can we? On, no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, because you said, um, and I'm I'm talking, I'm using it a lot. But, the word of honor, honor yeah. ability. and it's it's quite problematic. It's an old concept, and from the days it was used also to to make a distinction between good people and bad people, and to to to, to, to oppress people. And I think for us now in this tradition, it's it's a possibility to develop this concept in a in a meaning that is like behaving in a in a good way or something. But um, yeah, honor. Is uh, yeah, you don't you, you should not put it too too big uh, too big weight on the old school understanding of the concept because we yes we have times in which honor is uh, people think they get honor in the in the fields of war yeah mm -hmm. push it and again more modern way of understanding of these old fashioned uh, yeah war. It's a concept for everyone. It's a, it's a possibility for everyone to be honorable. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Jonathan. Thanks. Thank you, Felix. Thank you. You guys are so great. Thanks a lot.